This is the ITEL A70, which goes for 88,000 Naira. And here's a Redmi A3, which goes for 99,000 Naira. A tad pricier by 11,000 Naira. And if you're wondering which of these devices deserves your hard-earned cash, I'm here to guide you to make that perfect match and right decision. And so without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. Out of their boxes, you will get the smartphones themselves, SIM ejectors, 10 watt chargers for both of these devices and the user guides. Where the ITEL A70 takes the lead as far as accessories will be in the provision of a pair of wired earphones and a nice feeling and sleek looking case to protect your device. Talk about packing a punch in the accessories department for less do. First off, I handed these devices to the guys here at the studio and for some reason, the ITEL A70 becomes the darling for its comfy grip. Now, I obviously wanted to know the reason why and one thing they kept saying was how comfortable it was to hold in the hand. I'm not gonna lie, I took a close look at this device because I wanted to know what they saw. And two things became clear. First, the A70 was slightly smaller, making it feel lighter and more comfortable to use. And the second reason was the camera module on the ITEL A70. Redmi has a circular thing going for it, which isn't usual for a lot of smartphones right now, while the ITEL gives you the iPhone look, but on a budget. And I think that most likely played to their biases. Other things to note about the design here would include a rough back feel for the back on ITEL, making it less of a fingerprint magnet than the smooth thing that goes on with the Redmi device here. They both have micro SD card slots, dual SIM trays, and a headphone jack. So as far as a lot of people, because the smartphones have about the same look, curved edges and all that, the ITEL will be their pick because it feels lighter in the hand and a little bit smaller. When it comes to audio, the difference would be the ITEL was a little bit louder but expressed more of the high brush frequencies, while the A3 from Redmi Air had a lower volume and less distortion, obviously. This means for music playback, you might get a cleaner sounding bass from the Redmi but louder with ITEL. And also, since ITEL expresses more of the top end sound, you get this kind of better and louder audio while listening to podcasts or audiobooks. I mean, it expresses those high frequencies where the voice or the vocals of humans actually have been expressed. For the mic test here, the ITEL has a built-in sound recorder app. I didn't find one on the Redmi. So I decided to download one from the App Store and run a mic test. Here you go. Let me know which of these microphones you prefer. This is a mic comparison test between the Redmi A3 and the ITEL A70. Let me know which you prefer. This is a mic comparison test between the Redmi A3 and the ITEL A70. Let me know which you prefer. Moving over to the displays, there's a 6.7 inch panel for the Redmi and a 6.6 inch panel for ITEL, almost the same size, both of which are LCD and 720p in terms of the resolution. With the sizes for these smartphones, you get this smaller bezel with the ITEL device here, as you can see, that Redmi has thicker bezels. As far as the colors, you will notice that ITEL has a more muted and natural display, while the Redmi has a slightly oversaturated and green tint. Actually, they're going for something that looks like what a Samsung device would do. Especially when you take a look at a white background, you can see the differences. If you prefer your colors less in your face with cooler temperature, then the ITEL is the device to pick. But if you want this more saturated kind of look, then the Redmi is that device you should go with. Where the Redmi takes a lead would be in the refresh rate on this display. You get a 90Hz refresh rate on Redmi A3 here against a 60Hz normal display on the ITEL. But as far as brightness and usage outdoors, both will give you about the same experience with 500 nits of display brightness. As far as reproduction on these panels, you can make do with both of these devices, but just know that Redmi 90Hz, ITEL 60Hz. So do we talk performance? When you come this low in budget for a smartphone, you're definitely not looking to buy the fastest there is. So with that out of the way, let's go into the performance here. The ITEL A70 comes out of the box with the Unisoc T603 chipset and you get the MediaTek Helio P35 on the Redmi device here. Okay, the MediaTek chip here is slightly better, hence Redmi decided to run full Android 14 on their device. On the other hand, ITEL decided it was best to run the stripped down Android Go edition on this device, which is Android 13 by the way. Will you notice a significant difference in performance? Not at all for a real world use. For the OS, Redmi takes the lead with Android 14 while you get Android 13 Go edition on ITEL. And that's the stripped down version like I mentioned earlier. When I tried out speed tests on these devices, they both traded blues and there wasn't a clear winner. For instance, launching Subway Soft, the dialer and Chrome were mostly always faster on the ITEL device. But for the camera app, the messages and the boot up time, you get a faster device to be the Redmi A3. These are budget devices by the way, so you're not going to get super fast devices at this price range. Just keep that at the back of your mind. 
The main camera on the A70 is a 13 megapixel shooter as opposed to 8 megapixels main sensor on the A3 from Redmi. Also for the front facing cameras, you get an 8 megapixel sensor for the A70 with an LED flash at the front and a 5 megapixel sensor without a flash on the A3. So bigger numbers on ITEL. In real life photos, these are not the best photo cameras out there putting that out again. For this front facing cameras, you get a warmer photo from ITEL, while the less contrasty photo, which is cooler in temperature, comes from the Redmi smartphone. You can also see this little bit of green tints on the ITEL photos. For this shot here, while both smartphones were trying to keep proper exposure for the room, the windows were blown out. I mean, they couldn't handle that much dynamic range. In this other photo, I prefer the Redmi, even though the ITEL came quite close behind. One thing I noticed about the rear cameras is, when you try to take zoomed in photos or shots on the smartphones, you realize that ITEL gives you better details in that regard and that's thanks to the higher megapixel count. There were times I began to notice that Redmi wasn't as consistent, take a look at this photo. But beyond that, they were really close, the Redmi seemed to be more saturated than the ITEL which went the less saturated route. When Redmi tries to apply saturation, they tend to overdo it, just like in this shot which looks true to life as seen on ITEL. The gaming pad looks better with the Redmi though, it has the better skin tone for my hand, but the ITEL retains better detail in this photo. Videos can be recorded at up to 1080p, 30fps for the front and the back cameras on these two smartphones, so just let me know what you think about the videos being recorded or displayed on screen right now. For the front facing camera videos, I give it to Redmi with better details, cleaner white balance. Over to the rear camera videos, both are about the same, both are wobbly and can pass for each other. Redmi did a little too much as far as the saturation in these videos. So I'm gonna let you decide which works best for you in terms of the camera. Let me know in the comment section below. Both contenders are evenly matched with 5000mAh batteries, promising 2 days of average use. You also get a 10W charger out of their boxes which would take about 3 hours to charge these devices from 0 to 100. Let's say an over the night charge will be best for anyone getting these devices. There's nothing really to complain about here, no drama, just solid staying power of batteries. So this comparison boils down to this conclusion. If you want a smartphone that feels better in the hand, has a lot more accessories while coming in at a lower price of 88,000 Naira or 11,000 Naira less, I would call this value for money, then the ITEL A70 is the device to pick. Otherwise, for a little more money, that's 11,000 Naira more, you get a full Android experience with the Redmi A3, maybe a slightly better camera, especially for the front facing camera, and maybe a software update into the future with the Redmi. Now you know, let me know which you're going to pick in the comment section below, I'll be down there, I got my eyes on you. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Could we eat that day?